one, two, three. Let's get it going. Scars in coffee shops and smoky bars. We are the sinners and the saints in the churches sound we come. At this time, folks, about ten of us can go inside as part of the delegation to really to present this resolution to the governor, asking her to one at least to meet with us, but two to veto this legislation. And we'll be back shortly to, to brief you on what takes place. Good luck. Good luck. Why should the governor veto this bill? There's a moral imperative in the faith communities to talk about how it is we actually stay safe. And by instilling fear in the community, preventing people from reporting serious crimes, it doesn't keep, keep people safe. And my concern is for the safety of the children in our communities. The Catholic bishops have come out against us in Arizona. The associates of chiefs of police are against it. So why is she signing this legislation now if it's about public safety? Is this bill even legal if it passes? No, we think it's got a heck of a lot of problems. Um, we think that it is unconstitutional. There are several different provisions that are extremely problematic. Um, you know, but I think the sort of bigger picture is that we have a state that's practically insolvent, that is insolvent, insolvent, and here we are forcing our um, police departments to prioritize immigration enforcement over all other public safety duties. It's costly. Um, and it really is moving in the wrong direction. And so what we're trying to do is convince the leaders to do the right thing, to do what's in the best interest of Arizona and vote against it. No, I haven't. They just now are arriving, so I haven't done anything. Um, there's, are you, are you gentlemen with the news media? Basically, we feel it violates every, every, every principle of Republicans, right big now. government. Let me go back to my meeting here, but uh, your SB 1070 recruiting. Rose Pierce bill, right. Mm -hmm. And then that bill's passed out of committee and it's waiting for action. Right, and you're going to push that through? Okay. Uh, we'll see. And, and, and Mr. Speaker, we're going to talk to the governor. Oh, are you mine? To the governor, I'd like to add one of them. Know that there is widespread concern about the impacts this legislation would have on the entire state of Arizona. We think it's an expansion of unnecessarily large government, way too costly at this point in time. It's going to delete law enforcement. I appreciate your concerns. Thank you for letting us know. Thank you. Thank you. And thanks for your involvement. I'm sorry, there's an official process if you need to meet with the governor. We did, we submitted letters, we letters last week, okay. so we have not one person, the whole deal, will meet with the constituents. They're considering, the they're considering your, your request. No, but not one person will come out to receive you. We have five, six okay. thousand postcards with every attendance. I'm sorry, person. I'm sorry, they're considering Is that, is that a no? Is that a no? That's absolutely not a no. 1070? Would you like the governor to be to that? We feel like, you know, she has not heard our concerns, she's not here, she's not sent anyone here to receive us. We feel it's to send a depth of message, she's not interested in what we have to bring to the table. So we're going to be back next week. We delivered 6,000 postcards. Yeah! Yeah! That you all circulated. It's the voices of 6,000 and other people, apart from ourselves that are here, who want to see the governor veto SB 1070. No to Russell Pierce's lunacy. No to an effort to promote big government. No to big government spending. This bill will cost us millions. But the governor didn't want to talk to us. 
she did not want to meet with her constituents. So what do we do? We come back. Yeah. Reach out to people to get the power so we can make changes here in Arizona. Are you guys with us? Yeah.